started doing the, the Zoom classes during the COVID pandemic, uh, and they were quite successful. People enjoyed them. They enjoyed the fact that they could sit in their own little studio or, 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 or room and, and look over the brush, and they've been very successful. So uh, I've carried on, basically. And we're into about the about the fourth or fifth sort of run of them now. Uh, so I just explain a little bit about how the um, how the sessions are run and what goes on during them. Well, sort of medium, but I'm just introducing that through. In the painting classes, we generally start with a given subject. It's it's a landscape subject. It might be an aspect of the landscape, like buildings. It might be an aspect of the landscape, such as sunlight or, or, or rain. And we work a topic through together. They're two hours long. And generally, I'll do a section. And then I will pause for those that's painting along to do a section. Some people, however, just sort of um, sit and watch the sessions. The sessions at the end are sent on as a link to a full recording. And during the recording, um, the bits where I paused to allow people to paint and catch up are sort of cut off. So the recordings are generally about an hour long. And we talk through each process, um, questions are asked through the chat, etc. And they vary in their sort of technicality. Uh, lately, I'm intending to introduce one or two sessions which are meant to be just watch sessions because I can I can produce then far more complex painting and then send on the video for um for folk to try in their own time because of course during the normal two hour session basically I've got an hour to paint and so have you so they they, they vary a little bit I'm open to suggestions on topics and things as well and um and uh, also at the end, we do a sort of critique on people's best works. So you join, you're in a waiting room, as usual with Zoom. You come in and we start this process. If I do a stage, you will do a stage. Um, and we complete a whole picture in each session that way. Okay. The thing to say about these um, painting sessions as well is that if you're an absolute beginner, then frankly, they're not for you. On my website, <clears throat> there is a video called Beginners Please, which deals with all the basic watercolor methods and techniques. And I would recommend um, getting that first and studying that at length. And then when you're sort of up to speed with all the basic elements and ways to use watercolor, by all means, come and join us. These are intended for people who've been painting in watercolour a little while and would consider themselves sort of more intermediate. Okay, so there is that little link that's just come up on screen for you to use for the beginner's video. More hatching. There. The sketching sessions are an hour in duration and they deal with a similar sort of subject matter to the painting sessions so they're a nice sort of overlap because with watercolor being a transparent medium and if you want to sort of paint and draw traditional things that look like they look then you, you need to be able to draw you know so it, it's it's a real pleasure actually to do and a real asset to have so they're an hour long once again, we'll pick a subject or a topic. The one here is rocks and cliffs, etc. And then we deal with that sort of subject matter. The, um, the technical level ranges from, you know, relatively easy subjects through to more complex subjects, such as this one. Uh, so once again, if you haven't picked up a pencil in an age, then you're better off going to the video site uh the link again is, is here and get in the introduction to sketching video because that shows you all the basic elements of how of how to sketch 
as the painting class is, this is intended for people that have been drawing and sketching a bit and want to sort of hone their technique and improve their sort of techniques. So we watch it develop. Um, the, the screen is sort of split. This isn't a true representation really because the image is usually in the corner of the screen as well. So you can see both things as they, as, as they come along. Um, and you can ask questions once again as I, as I progress, if anything pops into your head. And as with the painting, this is then sent as a video after the event for you to re-digest it and have a little go yourself. The people who come on the drawing ones, because it seems like quite a hard thing to watch someone sketching for an hour, but they tell me it goes very, very quickly and they are actually very informative. I don't spend much time hanging around. I'm quite a rapid sketcher, which I suppose comes from working outdoors. So that's the sketching. And the sketching comes on the same day, which is a Wednesday, and it comes after the painting sessions, painting 10 to 12, and um, the sketching one till two. And um, there is, of course, a little finished sketch of Cum Nash. So um, there you go. All the details uh, should be on the screen now. Um, it really is great fun. There is actually a Facebook page as well where um, people take part, can comment, they can show each other their work, etc. And people have found that very helpful too. So um, yeah, come and join us. Have a go.